If your Fire Stick has been running slow, freezing or buffering, don't panic. I'm going to walk you through a few simple steps that will speed it up instantly. These are the same settings I use on my Fire Stick when it starts acting up. So follow along and by the end, yours is going to feel like new. Hi everyone, welcome to one more video from Steve Reviews Tech, Mr. Steve here. First things first, let's restart your Fire Stick, okay? Go all the way to the right, choose the gear, choose the My Fire TV, and then go to Restart. And go ahead and restart, it's going to take a couple minutes, okay? That's the first thing you do, you don't have no idea how many things we can fix by just doing that. It clears temporary files, refreshes the system and the memory, and that's the quickest way to fix a lag or apps that are keep freezing. Now that your restart is done, let's go ahead and check your Wi-Fi. That's the next step for us. Just go to the gear over there on the right again, go to network. Over here, you're going to see the name of your network right there. It's going to say connected and it's going to say for you to play, to press play or pause to check the network. That's going to say your speed, uh, mine is 361.96 megabit per second. Uh, you can test the speed again, run speed test, and it's, it, should, it should tell you the fresh result. There you go. It's done. It's 350. Again, not the best, but it's okay. If you go to advanced now and you press advanced, you're going to see all the steps for your Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, over here, it's my, the, the, the name for my Wi-Fi, but that's going to be yours. Okay. That's the signal strength. Uh, that's, I'm going to put a table next for you to see which ones are good and which ones are not. Okay, this, this is pretty good for me, but that's how you check yours, all right? And that's it for this one. This table shows where my results stand at. Next, you're going to take a look on where yours should be. This table shows you where your signal should be for the first it should be between minus 30 and minus 50. For the second, it should be between minus 51 and minus 67. And for the third one, it should be minus 68 to minus 75. Now let's take a look on your storage. Okay, go to settings, all the way to the right. Then go to applications. Right there. And then over here, you're going to see manage installed applications. You can see that, that I have 4.65 gigabytes of 12.98. So you, I have quite a bit free. If your space less than one gigabyte, uh, go ahead and uninstall some apps and, and get some space freed up. Okay, because you, you're going to start having a uh, problem. Uh, lagging and stuff like that. Definitely don't let it get below 500 megabytes. Okay. Uh, one thing that it helps with this new update that they did is the clear of application cache. Before you you had to use to go for one by one. Now you can just go clear all application cache. Now if there is a specific app that is giving you problems then you can also go and uninstall that app and reinstall it. Okay, that's that's a good good rule of thumb to have it. Okay, and, and that's how you do it. You go over here on manage installed applications and you you go all the way down. Those are usually the ones you don't use that much. And you go ahead and you take whatever you don't use it. You know, because it, it takes the space on your storage and it makes everything slower, okay? Next, we're going to go to settings again. And then from settings, you're going to look for preferences. Choose preferences. In here, you're going to go to feature content right there. 
in there you're gonna choose these two options to off okay these these options are gonna make uh, the video when you are in the main menu they come alive and start uh, moving and and play video and audio so that uses your RAM okay and it uses your internet so turn them off so the next one same thing let's go to settings and back to preferences again where we were from there you're gonna go to private settings and over here you're gonna go to device usage and data device usage and data and make that off okay and from here you go to collect app usage data and turn that off as well okay interest based ads just turn them off turn it off and amazon photos it's up to you if you use them just enable if not just disable okay after you finish over here just go back one so right over here in preferences again go to data usage monitoring and turn that off that's just a private setting for you since we are here notification settings uses your ram as well so you can go ahead and turn them off that's another set you can do uh, this one we already did the feature content and that should be it after doing all these settings all these apps that we manage we deleted it's always good to do a restart okay so just go to settings again go to my fire tv and go to restart okay after restart your device should be as good as new if it's not uh, your next option would be to do a reset to factory defaults that's gonna erase everything uh, you have and you're gonna have to start over from the beginning okay you do it right here on the same spot that you restart you press reset to factory defaults okay and if that doesn't help uh, your next choice should be to buy maybe buy a new device if your device is old already or something okay and that's it your fire stick should now be faster smoother and ready to go if this helped you out drop a like subscribe for more fire stick and streaming device tips and check the description for my recommended Fire Stick and other streaming devices and accessories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.